We're joined this morning by our friend Colby Sharples Terry with Kansas Tourism, and she's taking us to the stars once again, as we do every week. I'm excited because we're going to one of my favorite cities in Northeast Kansas, Emporia. And one of the things I love about Emporia, and you may be talking about it, is yeah. their zoo, the David Trailer Zoo. It's phenomenal. It's like a walk in the park, yeah. and I love, love, love it. I think it's amazing if you haven't been. Also, they have a Brahms. <laughs> I'm from Oklahoma, so Brahms is really important to me. So I drive down just. It's just the closest for that. Brahms to here. I know it is. Yeah. Which, yeah, I think Manhattan's getting one. But anyhow, let's talk about something that a, a lot of, I mean, everyone in Emporia knows. Yeah. And most Kansans do, but not everyone. Yeah. What did people not know about Emporia? They're actually the founding city of Veterans Day. So really? in uh, 1953, Emporia resident Alvin J. King. Mm -hmm. um, proposed the idea and it was celebrated there first. And then what's also neat is um, in 1954, Kansas Congressman Ed Rees took it to President Eisenhower, wow. who signed it into A law. Kansan. Yeah. And so it's Kansas is very, very deeply tied to it. And so, you know, of course, Emporia is proud to be founding city. Yeah, so course. all week long they celebrate. They have all Veterans Week. So it continues on through this weekend. So if you head out there, which you should this weekend, there's yeah. so much to do. Um, there's popular like places like Radius Brewing, okay. their distillery, a sweet Granada Chocolate Cafe is always delicious. I've not had it. Yes, very, very good. And of course, they have their Veterans Park. And then if you head out Saturday, Lazy Wayne Bl Band is playing at the Granada there. Um, and there's so much to do there. You know, they're the disc golf capital. They have great museums and galleries and the murals golf, and yeah. just, it's a really, really cool town. And I feel like it's underrated as a destination. You can spend a whole week in there. Well, one, and honestly, I can't even tell you which one because it's been, it's been a few months, but when my girls and I went down there, there we drove by this amazing mural on one of the yeah. downtown buildings. And so we stopped and took a picture of it yeah. because it just had amazing scenes. Um, of yes. Emporia and Kansas on it. So yeah, yeah great it, murals. it's such a cool city. It I love really it. Is. And for it to be the founding city of Veterans Day is, you know, something to be really, really proud of. It is. And so with their Veterans Week, if you head to visit Emporia.com, you can see like the schedule of events that they have all week and all weekend long for the celebration. Well, and lots of other things to do in between or along with, yes. or maybe you make a little longer weekend of it, or you go down for the Veterans Day events and then you make a, another trip on another weekend. Yes, right? do it. I love it. All right, Colby, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, well, stay with us. We are back right after this.